you are taking a post and you are able to incorporate the word, the word that you have got. So this way, this will help you. Uh, sometimes while speaking, uh, my, my mind blows blank. Like uh, uh, I know the exact meaning of vocabulary. So, but I can't uh, use the words, those words while speaking. Uh, like it, it adds the nervousness in yourself when you are serious and speaking too fast. Serious and speaking too fast, that adds a nervousness. And again, you make a lot of mistakes. There are chances that you tend to make more mistakes. Whilst. So first of all, good morning and welcome to the session. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Thank you for asking. Uh, good morning to you. Uh, what about you, madam? I'm also doing great. Thank you so much for asking. How was your morning? Yeah, it was good, ma'am. What about you, ma'am? How was your morning? My morning was again very good, productive, as I have just started with this first session. But before that, I was just a bit reading and I was just learning something. Yeah, so it was okay. productive. Hmm. Okay. So, a good habit. Yeah. As we are meeting for the very first time, so would you mind introducing yourself? Yeah, absolutely, ma'am. I will introduce myself. First of all, thank you for giving this opportunity to introduce myself in front of you. Uh, myself, my name is Benerji. I'm 24 years old right now. I'm native of Srikakulam district of Andhra Pradesh. Uh, coming to the, my educational qualifications, I have done my graduation and BSc stream uh, from Dr. B. Ambedkar University, Srikakulam. My intermediate was done uh, with aggregate of 79 percentage from the government school, school uh, government junior college. My 10th standard is also uh, done in government school and I have got 70% uh, of marks. And also currently I'm pursuing MCA uh, from Dr. Uh, from uh, Nehru Technological University, Vijayanagaram. That's all about my educational qualifications, madam. Uh, coming to my experience, I have no experience at any company or any other organizations, but I have skilled in uh, some programming languages like uh, uh, Java and C and SQL. Uh, that's it for my experience, ma'am. Uh, if I talk about my strengths and weaknesses, uh, my greatest strength that I have followed, um, that I have a uh, positive attitude, and also I'm always uh, looking for learn new things, and also I'm trying to hard work to learn anything. And also uh, my weakness is I'm not a public speaker in English. Uh, mm -hmm. That's it. That is the, my main uh, weakness, ma'am. If I talk about my uh, short-term goals and long-term goals, my short-term goal is um, to get a job either government or in the private sector uh, and also my long-term goal long-term goal is uh, to get uh, professional professional experience uh, whatever i got and also uh, make myself proud in front of my father's parents that's it my long-term goals ma'am uh, coming to the, my habits uh, i like to do uh, i mean doing uh, meditation and exercises and when i have free times uh, listening music this is all about my uh, habitual actions, madam. Uh, that's all about me, myself. Great. You. you have given a, a really a great introduction. So I think you are Thank preparing you. for interviews. That's why you have prepared the interview. First, your introduction properly in a very constructive way, right? Hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Here, I want to give because a little... Because I'm a student, right? Hmm? Because ma'am, I'm a student right now, uh, pursuing MCA. So uh, in future, I have to go any organization. That's why I'm learning this type of uh, communication skills. So that's why I give a brief explanation of my introduction. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, what is the meaning of your name? Ma'am, I don't know, ma'am. What is the exact meaning of my name? My name is Benerji. Uh, I don't know what is the exact meaning of Benerji. Mm. So uh, today, after this session, you have to search about the meaning of your name. Okay. Definitely, ma'am. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Could you please introduce yourself? Sure. 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 Okay. I'm eagerly waiting to know. Yes, ma'am. Sure. As you know, my name is Rajni Verma. I'm from Shri Ganganagar, Rajasthan, which is located on the border of Punjab. I have done my graduation in Korean language from JNU, New Delhi. And uh, currently, I run a YouTube channel and I provide paid sessions to beginners and to intermediates as I consider myself an upper intermediate speaker of the language. Simultaneously, I'm working on myself too in order to become an advanced speaker. So for that reason, I talk to uh, many advanced speakers too, as I have recently started a series on my YouTube channel, which is 
feature to fluency in which I uh, talk to advanced speakers and uh, seasoned trainers so that there I can also practice and at the same time I can provide great content to uh, my viewers too. So that is uh, what I'm doing nowadays. And apart from that, as far as my hobbies are concerned or my, uh, yeah. So I love reading books and talking to people from different backgrounds like you. Yes, that's all about me. Anything that you want to ask? No, no, no. I don't like to ask anything about your experience. I really enjoyed your introduction. You have a lot of experience and also you are learning uh, learning new things and as well as you are providing free sessions to the uh, as like uh, kind of my learners. Mm. So I'm really enjoyed and glad to hear uh, your uh, introduction ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So can you tell me uh, where do you consider in English like what is your current level according to you? According to myself uh, ma'am, I'm not uh, sure about uh, my communication skills because I have been learning these communication skills uh for two months for two, two months, months maybe uh yes two months maybe two months 15 days maybe i'm not exact uh, mm -hmm. but to consider any kind of uh, new things to learn i'm mostly i prefer youtube youtube so in these two mm -hmm. months in these two months you are watching videos on youtube that is what you are doing yes ma'am uh, watching videos uh, watching videos uh, such as I have followed uh, 45 days spoken English classes. Uh, the channel name is Sister 360 Spoken English. Okay. So he was taught, uh, I mean, he had taught uh, good lessons to me. I mean, not only me, uh, everyone. So mm -hmm. these classes all are, after that, I have learned uh, some new uh, grammatical rules like uh, tenses, and also how to use uh, tenses while speaking. These type of things I have learned after completion of the spoken English classes. Uh, so at, at present, I'm uh, just uh, this type of level. This is my level. So I don't know what is the, my exact level. This is beginner or intermediate level or advanced level. I don't know. But this is my level, ma'am. So please uh, ensure what is my level uh, as per according to you. Hmm. Okay, I'll let you know. Sure. Uh, okay, so these are the inputs that you are doing by watching videos, learning grammar patterns and learning how to speak, spoken English, all that. What about output? How do you practice? Do you practice by yourself, talking to yourself, talking in front of mirror, talking in front of camera or talking to real people? How do you practice? Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is a really good question to me, ma'am. Uh, actually, I know uh, about, I hear about CV application. The CV application providing 30 minutes per day, uh, every day, to connect with uh, co-learners. Mm. So, uh, whatever I have learned uh, in the particular topic, uh, in the evening section, uh, 6.30 to 8.30, uh, I will try to connect with co-learners for 30 minutes. So, mm. uh, randomly, I try to speak with uh, two or more persons every day. Mm. So, that is the main first thing. So I have one other. I uh, have one friend also. That person mm -hmm. also trying to enhance his skill in English. So mm -hmm. we both are explaining each other to enhance. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that uh, that that is the my English name. Great. So you are equally putting your efforts into input and output. That is great. That is even necessary and I guess very crucial to put equal efforts. As per your uh, level right now, I think you are intermediate, somewhere intermediate. So you can enhance easily. And as at this level, we have to maintain, we have to balance between both input and output. We cannot rely only on input or we cannot yes, rely only on output. So at this stage, you have to focus equally on input and output, which you are doing already great one. Okay. So how long have you been using the CV application? Uh, I have been using uh, CV application uh, for 22, uh, 25 days, ma'am. Not exact, but 25 days, ma'am. For 25 days, great. Okay, okay. So after... Hmm. Ma'am, uh, let me tell you, after completion of 45 days spoken English, I have uh, taken this uh, application to learn uh, new thing. I mean, uh, to connect with others. While uh, learning 45 days spoken English classes, uh, I can't speak with others. Just I have uh, tried to make sentence only. Uh, mm -hmm. Whatever I learned in uh, those classes. 
So after completion of 45 days for spoken English classes, um, I taken a CV application. After that, I tried to connect with others. Mm. Yes, from this one thing I got very explicitly, which is that you are very consistent one and very uh, hardworking, laborious. Okay. Every day I'm spending. Uh, mm -hmm. Every day I'm spending on communication skills uh, for two, two to uh, two hours, ma'am. Exact two hours, ma'am. Every wow. day, uh, seven to nine o'clock. This is my work, ma'am. I do work on English, like right. uh, uh, write some kind of uh, new topics or stories and also finding vocabularies what is the exact meaning of the particular vocabulary mm -hmm. after that uh, i should uh, pronounce how should i uh, pronounce this vocabulary and uh, searching google and knowing how how can i pronounce this verb mm -hmm. so this way i am practicing every day okay okay you are on the right path and i come yes. across a very serious learner today I think you are very persistent, consistent and particular for your time period too. Like this much time you I have to spend particularly with English language. And this is somewhere significant, crucial to spend some time with the language, to adapt the culture, adapt the pronunciation, uh, you know. So that is what you are doing and I am impressed by the all these things that you have been doing. As you mentioned, first you completed the 45 days course. I think you were done again very serious. I think your why is clear to you, right? There is a why that, that is in your mind that I want to get a job as soon as complete, uh, as soon as you complete everything, whatever you are doing now. So I think you want to get a job uh, and then you want to, for that reason, you want to learn the language. So the why is clear to your mind. And second thing, you have found the path found the right strategy and methods too for yourself that's you are that that's why i guess you are able to maintain the consistency great one okay yeah thank you so, thank you how may i assist you well uh first thing today i would like to ask some kind of questions i have already prepared uh before coming to this session the okay. sessions first thing how to introduce myself in interviews this is the first mm -hmm. thing ma'am and the question also, should I learn uh, complete grammar to speak effectively in front of uh, public? Mm. Okay. So that is the second question. And also, the first of all, uh, clarify these two questions, ma'am. After that, I will ask another question. Sure, sure. Okay. In introduction C, it is all about yourself. So I think as you have introduced yourself to me, so you know. You have to mention your uh, name, about yourself, about your weaknesses, your strengths, and a little bit if you want, you can mention about your family and the place you are, uh, you belong to, and the uh, habits or hobby that you enjoy. Right? These are the things you can mention or about your qualification, uh, of course. Yeah. So you know, these are the things we have to mention. Okay. After that, mm -hmm. some other areas where you have to keep that in mind while introducing yourself. First is body language, and I guess you are working on that too. Body language, eye contact, and uh, I think you need to slow down a bit while speaking. When you were introducing yourself, you were feeling like you have to go somewhere after introducing yourself, or you were just running, like right. So you have to slow down a bit. Okay, right now on your face you have a great smile. Okay, which can make a great impression while introducing yourself. Not a very big smile, but a slightest smile can help you ease yourself while introducing. Because when you are serious in front of those people, that is kind of a, uh, like it, it adds the nervousness in yourself when you are serious and speaking too fast. Serious and speaking too fast, that adds a nervousness. And again, you make a lot of mistakes. There are chances that you tend to make more mistakes while speaking. But at the same time, if you are at ease, speaking a little slower, keeping a smile on your face, that will help, that will boost your confidence. Okay, seriousness reduces your confidence. But if you are comfortable and if you are keeping a smile on your face, that boosts your confidence level. Pose is again okay. very essential thing when you are going for an interview. Even though whenever you are talking to even uh, your friends, talking to people, 
you should focus on the poses too. So pose is one thing. So if you incorporate poses in your speaking, that will help you speak English fluently and with a proper ease, effortlessly. So you don't need to mug up your introduction. With a proper ease, you will be able to introduce yourself. Okay. Yeah, smile is one thing. Mm, I thank you. You don't need to be that much serious, like not like a big smile, but a little smile you can keep on your face and slow down a bit. Incorporate poses. Okay, take a bit pause. Okay. Mention the second thing. Then a, like a two second, three second pauses. And then uh, you can do here one thing that start observing people you like that they have great command over communication or over giving speeches. You must know about the uh, YouTube channel, which is English Speeches. Do you know? English Speeches. I don't know. Yeah, this is the first time. Yeah, the English thing. Speeches, where you can watch and you can thoroughly, you should thoroughly observe how they are taking pauses. That will really help you. Okay. That will really enhance your communication skills drastically. You will be able to see a change in your way of speech. Okay. Yeah, this okay. much myself, this much I can tell you about introducing yourself. Yeah. After that, grammar. Do I need to know the whole grammar for spoken English? That is what you wanted. Okay. Uh, grammar is essential. Yeah. We should not deny the part that grammar, we can learn grammar. Some people suggest that grammar is not at all important if you want to be good at English. I also agree. It is important, but you don't need to learn grammar. I also agree. But at the same time, people misunderstood that. Their meaning of saying that is, you don't need to learn grammar patterns separately, but you have to learn grammar patterns. So your ways can be differ, can differ. Your ways can differ. Like if I talk about myself, I have learned all the grammar by watching, listening and reading. Listening and reading. By these two ways, I have learned all grammar. I don't know the exact names of the patterns. But I don't know. But I know how to use. And I'm able to use. Because I read and I listen. So through listening and through reading, I got how to use. That's it. If your purpose is that I want to use, I'm not going to teach the grammar lectures to students. That you don't need, Then you don't need to mug up the grammar patterns. What is now? What is pronoun? What is verb? You don't need to learn the the verb, the you know definitions and the name of the patterns like in noun. How many nouns are there? The you know the parts. I I don't know actually. To be honest, I don't know. But I know how to use while speaking. Okay. So if you are clear from there, okay, what you need exactly? You want to speak. So your ways can differ. If you want to learn separately, if you are really lacking in a particular grammar pattern. You don't know how to use uh, present perfect. If you don't know how to use past perfect, simple past, simple present. If you don't know that, then go uh, for learning part two. Then learn the pattern, then practice. And I always suggest everyone that learn one pattern at a time. Do not learn all the patterns because then it will make you, you will be confused, you will be perplexed. Okay. So one learn one pattern at a time. Practice that particular pattern for a week at least. Uh, for instance, if you today take simple present tense. So first, you know what is it simple present, then practice for a week while talking on CV, while talking to your friend. Like this, if you don't know how to use should have, would have, could have in past and all that, pick that, practice that. So these are the things uh, like this, you can learn grammar. But grammar is essential. We cannot deny that. It is essential. Hmm. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for your suggestion. I will definitely follow your suggestion, ma'am. Uh, most of the people saying uh, while speaking, grammar is not essential. So, but I got confused about that. Without grammar rules, how can I express our feeling that suppose that uh, I want to go another place uh, sometime after? So, I will, should I use will? Will mention the future. So, hmm. uh, suppose I gone. So I did go, did mention past. Mm -hmm. So we should use grammar rules while speaking. Yeah. Without grammar rules, how can I express our thoughts in perfect mm -hmm. manner? Mm -hmm. So that's why in, uh, in grammar is most important while speaking. So not only while speaking, um, everywhere. Uh, either it is writing or listening everywhere. 
So grammar is essential. It is imperative. Yeah, it is imperative. Hmm. Yeah. Next question. Uh, question that is, ma'am. Uh, sometimes while speaking, uh, my my mind blows blank. Like uh, uh, I know the exact meaning of vocabulary. So, but I can't uh, use that words those words while speaking. So the, um, before that, I know the uh, meaning, but I can't uh, construct. I mean, uh, I can't uh, make sentences uh, with those particular vocabularies mm -hmm. while speaking. That's my main problem. Mm -hmm. That's why I suggested you one thing that is pause. Sometimes it happens with me too, as I am also a learner. I'm learning the language I want to, I aspire to become advanced speaker. Okay, so that is in my mind that I want to become advanced speaker. So I need to use advanced words for myself at least. Okay, so what I do is I take really pauses and I am really that person that I want to use these words while speaking. So while speaking, if I get something where I can use an advanced word, I take really a pause. I take a pause I, and I think and first you will be able to recall faster only if you are revising the words. For example, if you have learned a word on Monday and on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you haven't revised the word. On Friday, you are talking to your friend or you are going to practice on CV application and you want to use the word you have learned on Monday. You haven't revised. You will not be able to recall at all. Okay. So revision is the one key. You have to revise. I Every single day, I revise few words. Every single day. This is in my daily habit, that daily uh, action that I have to do for myself. So I revise all the words daily. And then while talking to people, if I get an opportunity. So I always try to make hay while the sun shines. This is what I deliberately mm. now used. It means mm. I always try to grab all opportunity. I always try to... Use the words whenever I get opportunity. Okay? okay. Yeah. Yeah. So try to make hay while the sun shines. Okay. Try to get the, uh, you know, get all the benefits of the opportunity. So first revise. Second, start taking pauses. That will help you to recall words. If you're speaking too fast, you are not able to recall words. You will use only the word which you are habitual of using. Right. But... Okay. First, so first focus on revising the words and taking pause. Simultaneously so revising the words and you have started taking pauses. So slowly, gradually, when you are talking every single day, gradually you will see a change. You are taking a pause and you are able to incorporate the word, the word that you have got. So this way, this will help you a lot. I hope this will help you. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much uh, for providing these sessions uh, with me, no, not only with me, uh, as like uh, co learners. So, yeah. in nowadays, uh, every ex uh, to give their suggestions to co learners, they are asking a lot of money, ma'am. Suppose that Clapping, or Cambly, these all applications are, uh, were asking a uh, lot of money. Uh, suppose that, ma'am, uh, have downloaded the uh, past few days uh, Clapping and Cambly. Those, mm. those applications. I have downloaded at a time and searching uh, to connect with an expert to get suggestions to how to improve myself and how to improve my communications levels. So they, uh, first of all, they are asking a lot of money. Mm. Uh, so thousands of rupees they are asking for month only. Mm. So then how can is it equal to middle class students, ma'am? It, it, it is too difficult to uh, pay amount. Yes. So uh, I glad to hear about uh, your interesting thing this is really uh, first of all i greet uh, greet to you ma'am gratitude gratitude to you ma'am yeah thank you ma'am it means a lot to me somewhere it is helping me too at the same time as i am a learner so this is the right opportunity and right way for me to practice the words i learn so it is like equal give and take you guys are also in you know uh, adding values in my life. That's why I'm able to speak English. When I started, I was also not that much confident and fluent speaker. So you guys have added value in my life because you guys connect to me. Then I get opportunity to use my expertise or whatever the things I have learned. I'm sharing those again and again. I get opportunity to use words. 
I get opportunity that whatever I am learning, I'm able to give the output. Otherwise, I so it is not, you don't need to feel that, okay, I'm doing something great. No, I think it is just, I'm practicing. You guys are also practicing with me. So we are helping each other equally. And then, uh, last thing I would like to ask, uh, while speaking, I know what can I say, uh, I know in front of, I um, mean, before speaking, I know what should I speak? What should I tell my words in, in, uh, in my mouth, open my mouth? But ma'am, uh, while speaking, while uh, explaining uh, those words, I'm getting fumble. Mm. Uh, in the time, what should I do, ma'am? Okay. In this case, tell me, do you read books? Yes, ma'am. I'm always uh, read books, ma'am, because I'm a student. So I'm always writing books. I mean, I'm writing notes. I mean, I'm, I'm preparing my notes myself. And as well as uh, I'm studying and reading also. Mm -hmm. So that is the uh, what I do. If you fumble a lot while speaking, what you can do is read out loud. So spend 30 minutes on reading mm -hmm. out loud. So whatever you are reading for 30 minutes, speak it properly, open your mouth properly, pronounce the word properly. That will help you get rid of this fumbling thing while speaking. This is one that helped me a lot. One more thing if you want to do, it is up to you. That is shadowing. If you do the shadowing practice, imitating. Like first you are listening to somebody who speaks a little slower, not a person who speaks too fast. Like if you are watching a native a native has, I guess, C2 level. So maybe he is speaking too fast. And if you start with that person, you will feel, oh my God, he's speaking too fast and uh, I, I'm not able to imitate him properly. And you start your, start doubting yourself, okay, I'm not able to speak English. Do not copy a person who has C2 level. If you consider yourself at B2, find someone you feel comfortable uh, with, like, uh, in uh, India, there are some people like Rini Rose Matthews. She's, she speaks clearly, properly, and her pace is again great. I like her very much. I watch her videos and I do Sharon practice. Second, Alina Reis. You maybe know about her. Alina Reis, have you heard? This is first time I'm hearing. Sorry for that. No problem. You don't need to be sorry for that. <laughs> okay. So you can watch Alena Reyes, Rini Rose Matthew, and there are a lot of people in from India itself. So you can watch them and start imitating them first. Okay. Then you can go for the native speakers too, as I think after intermediate level, you would love to become an advanced speaker too. So at that time, you can start uh, copying, start shadowing, start imitating the native speakers too. That is what you can do and that will help you a lot. But first, start reading aloud. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tell me what is your favorite color? Blue, ma'am. Why? Why? Why I don't know because uh, most of time I'm wearing uh, blue color dresses in uh, from my childhood. Oh wow! My childhood days. So automatically the uh, blue color uh, such are blue color. Uh, I mean uh, blue color things. Mm. I like. Um, it will suit it will suit suitable to me okay in blue color blue color in blue color shirts are blue color uh, any kind of uh, cloths i'm uh, i look pretty this is my exemption only you look smart okay great okay what is your favorite what ma'am what is your favorite fruit I like to eat a lot of fruits now because uh, I'm a son of farmer. So we have uh, a lot of fruits uh, like mangoes and uh, how can I say that uh, sapota. Mm. I don't know what is the exact name in uh, English. So the sapota fruit and also papayas and mm. also uh, we have a farm, uh, banana farm. Oh. And also, as well as uh, mango form. Your place, I should come to your home to eat those fruits. <laughs> I will, I will treat you as my uh, uh, best person. Definitely, you will come. I will treat you uh, as a uh, respectable person. I'm just kidding. 
because you are living there and you have like the opportunity to just you can have any fruit any time like according to season but you can have a lot of fruits at time so this is great and during this scorching hot weather it is mandatory to have fruits and especially fruits that keeps you hydrated so you can refrain from it. hydrating yourself yeah nowadays uh, we have uh, pineapple fruits also mm great that's why in scorching hot weather you should use fruits my father was uh, my own land we have our own land uh, for 2 and a half acres Mm-hmm. In that farm, uh, in of the uh, edge of the lands, suppose that this is a land, the edge of the lands, uh, surrounding of the lands, we have putting into the, some kind of uh, new fruit uh, like bananas, pineapples, and uh, guava, and also sapota, mango. These type of trees I will uh, put and planting these type of uh, fruit things. After we will get fruits after some days. So do you sell too? No, no, no. It is only for my our jobs. For your home to eat. Neighborhood. Okay. In my house right now, we have grapes. So we pick and we eat <laughs> only gra- grapes. We have not anything else. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So can you tell me one more thing that who is your favorite YouTuber? As you are watching a lot of videos nowadays on YouTube. Nowadays, ma'am, uh, I don't like to tell any lie in front of you. Uh, mm-hmm. First of all, uh, in, uh, I mean, uh, before uh, joining to the, I mean, before learning to the English practice, I have no only was just the three sixty classes only. After completion of uh, after completion of uh, the sections, uh, I, I use it to watch some random videos like uh, conversation. Suppose mm-hmm. that we are speaking, uh, we are conversing. So as like I will uh, try to uh, I mean I have I use it to uh, watch some kind of uh, random videos. Mm. So in that way, uh, I used I, mean, I watched uh, clapping or conversations, scamly conversations, but not exact tutorial, uh, not exact uh, uh, in YouTuber. I don't follow. I didn't follow. Mm. So as of now, I know uh, as of now, uh, I don't follow. I didn't follow any kind of particular uh, YouTuber. But uh, as of now, I but now I got one. Uh, I mean, I got one thing only. That is, I should follow one particular person in every day. So it will help me to uh, enhance my skill, like uh, how she is speaking, uh, how he is uh, pronouncing these mm-hmm. things. And it will help. Me. So now I will try to uh, follow one particular person. That is you, and uh, as well as I have, uh, I would like to watch another person also. His name is Saraswati Madam. Okay. Saraswati Madam, his his name Saraswati Madam. He is uh, running a uh, YouTube channel, a mean space. Mean space. He's ma- he uh, she is also a uh, good communicator. Right. So uh, so today uh, from today I will follow you and as as well as her. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And if not, I had watched your video. You can watch me. I had, uh, Hmm? What can I do here? Please repeat it again, ma'am. Please. I said, if not today, you can watch me in future because then you will be able to see an advanced English, an advanced Rajni, and you will be able to learn a lot of words from my videos. I'm telling you that for sure because I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ma'am. I will follow you, ma'am. That's why. Okay then. Okay, our meeting is going to end now. So I want to tell you that thank you so much for coming along. Thank you so much for approaching me. It was really energetic conversation. It was useful conversation. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, last thing, will you upload this video in our, uh, our 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 channel? I'll watch the video again. If I find that is useful for YouTube uh, for viewers for my audience, then I'll definitely edit the video and then I'll upload it. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, I will be waiting for this video, ma'am. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye, bye. Have a great day. Keep learning. Same to you, ma'am. Yeah, keep yes, practicing. Thank you.